Dr. Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to watercolor with glycerin. This mess here is the result of three days of experimentations with different formulas um, to create like a new uh, watercoloring uh, medium to use uh, instead of just plain old water. Um, and so in the end I just came up with a really simple way to do this. Um, but it took me three days to figure it out. We are going to be making this little card today using the fox from the Life in the Forest stamp set and this greeting from the Just Saying stamp set. These two stamp sets will be retiring very soon and the last day to be guaranteed to get them is May 26, 2015. I just love this, um, these little animals in this set and they match these little greetings so well. Um, so let me show you how to make these. Okay, before me, I have assembled uh, most of the tools we'll need to make this card. I've got my aqua painter here, and I filled the aqua painter with distilled water. Um, that's really easy to do. You just screw off the barrel. Um, I bought a big jug of distilled water at um, the grocery store. I poured some into this little glass right here. I have an oral syringe um, that's used for measuring... Um, uh, liquid medicines and you can get that at a pharmacy and I'm just going to squirt some it, it's just really easy to transfer the water with this oral syringe right into um, uh, the barrel of the aqua painter. The reason I'm using distilled water is because it doesn't have minerals in it and um, if you want to recreate what I'm doing exactly um, that we will know we're both starting from the same medium because your water could be harder or softer than mine but distilled water should be approximately the same. Um, so let me just screw this back on. And then you're going to the ink we're going to use. You can either use stays on. This is um, a waterproof ink. Um, I have my favorite ink actually, black ink is Memento ink. And you can actually use this method with Memento. You just have to be a bit careful if you find that um, you get too much bleeding going on with the Memento, then just go ahead and use the stays on. Um, and then um, we'll need a uh, some Whisper White note cards and envelopes, or you can just choose to um, do um, a layer on Whisper White, but these ones are already cut and scored for us, so that makes it easy. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Memento ink pad. I'm going to keep this card, um, I'm not going to fold it right now because it's easier for me to work when it's completely flat. So let me go ahead, I'm just going to ink up you're the best from the Just Saying stamp set. And I like to do this um, when the stamp is face up and I've got better control holding onto my ink pad like that. So let me just make sure that's all inked up. And my uh, center score line's right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that kind of close to the top um, and the left side there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my little fox and ink him up and he's going to go down here in the bottom right hand corner. Let me lift him off. Okay, so you can set your ink aside. We're done stamping. And then what you're going to need is you're going to need a little um, plastic lid um, just, you know, off of a container, just something um, that you can um, do a little bit of um, mixing on. And I got this, this glycerin right here, uh, I got this at the pharmacy. Um, this was like around $7 and uh, this bottle will last me a long time if I continue to use this method. Um, so all we really need is we need like a, a drop and I'm putting that right in the center. And I'm going to do my water coloring today uh, of the Fox in Cajun Craze. So I just need a drop of the Cajun Craze reinker. I'm gonna put that right there. And I've got, um, this is the small uh, tipped aqua painter. They come in two sizes. This is the smaller size. And I always, whenever I'm water coloring, I always have a tissue with me. Uh, to kind of dry off my uh, tip and to change colors 
Um, you want your tip to be, um, it should be wet so you, you know, make sure it's got some liquid coming through so you know it make sure it was wet but then dried off you know you don't want it completely dry but you don't want it sopping wet either so then we're going to take um uh, the glycerin and we're going to or the aqua painter tip and we're going to dip it right into the glycerin and then we're going to kind of make a little bit of a, a mess here really we're just going to add some glycerin and oh and it's a good idea let me just grab a little scrap piece right here you want to um, uh, test out your color because th that might be too too inky but I think that's actually quite good the glycerin kind of reminds me of um, finger paint <laughs> so I'm gonna start over on this end here on the face with the, the fox and I'm just going to start brushing on the um, the mixture that I've created. And the nice thing with um, having the uh, glycerin in there is it kind of um, makes your reinker um, kind of slidey. So it kind of moves a little better than it would if you didn't have anything in there so like if it was just water it would kind of just stay in one spot so that's what I was saying like with a um, it reminds me of um, uh, finger painting and I can see my color starting to get a little less so I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and you can go lighter um, as well I'll show you at the end how I kind of I, I did go lighter on my first one and then I actually went in and I added um, some darker elements afterwards. This time I started off very dark. The nice thing with using the reinkers is you do have control over how dark or light uh, you can create your your um, colors. You, If you wanted to you could go um, you could go lighter with some other color mediums, um, you're kind of stuck at the color that um, comes out of your pen. So this one, you could go lighter or darker. This one is right now, it's, I went fairly dark, but that's okay. When it dries, somehow it also like will blend a little bit more. Like you'll, um, some of the, the lines will kind of just um, blend together. Um, it will dry a little bit. So now I'm just going to clean off this color, get rid of it um, off of my pen. And we're going to, now we're going to switch colors. And I just want to get in and I want to add some of this. Um, this is uh, Soft Sky. I'm going to put a dot of the Soft Sky there. And I'm going to, again, make sure your your tip is wet but not sopping wet. And I'm going to add, I've got some glycerin on there. And I'm going to mix it in with my dot of reinker. And you can test it out. That's quite light, so I can add maybe all of it into the glycerin. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these little dots. Okay. And I'm trying not to hit um, my where I did my memento um, because I the the ink I don't want it to to run. I mean, memento really isn't a, um, a waterproof ink, but I think you can see here a little better how the movement of the ink with the glycerin goes. It actually you can see that I'm able to move it around and it actually with the soft sky has kind of a marbleized or marble effect almost and I'm not going to go over the words I'm kind of scooting around the words right now but I'll go back and I'll hit in between the words in a little bit so you can kind of see how I'm moving it with the glycerin finger painting with an aqua painter <laughs> To leave it to me to invent that technique. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here 
and just hit in between the letters a little bit. I don't want to hit the letters too much. I don't want to take a chance on them bleeding. Okay, so basically I'm finished. You can see my fox is starting to dry a little bit. Um, and uh, so let me show you, um, well, if you wanted to finish off this card, you take a bone folder and um, this is still a little wet, so you don't want to touch it too much. Um, when the glycerin dries, you'll be able to feel with your finger that um, there's like, a, I don't know if you call it, it's, that the paper's been roughed up a little bit, so it has a bit of texture to it. Um, so here's my finished card. And here's the one I made earlier. I think I probably did um, this almost in the same intensity, and this is how it how it dries up. You can see the two of them. It's a little darker right now, but I think it dried up pretty nicely. And then um, here's one I did a little earlier, and I went a lot lighter. Kind of has almost a chalky look to it. Kind of cool. Then I did a little experimenting. Now, of course, I didn't do I didn't do a ton of um, them, but I did the, this is the blended bloom flower, and uh, I just, I did some, this was Blackberry Bliss and Hello Honey, and I just kind of experimented. This was the first time I colored a flower. So you can see, I mean, it, it does take a little bit to, to figure out um, doing it, but it's very simple. You know, you've just got like a little dot of glycerin and some reinkers and your aqua painter filled with distilled water. And um, the nice thing is you can use Whisper White cardstock. You can use Memento ink or stays on, which is really, really nice. Um, and um, kind of a, a nice technique to try out. So uh, all the supplies you'll need to make these cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.